few months ago, uh, I did parkour up in Scotland, and I made the mistake of just absent-mindedly saying uh, that, oh, I want to try, uh, want to try tightrope now. This is Chris. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the the Bolzini family uh, circus yard. Circus yard. That's where you are, and tightrope is my thing. So you've definitely come to the right place if you want to try tightrope. I don't is know. Is tightrope the right word? Because I've heard high wire and, and all sorts. You all. can call it what you like. It's a tensioned uh, steel wire rope, which is high. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why we call it high wire as opposed to tight wire uh, or dance wire, they sometimes call a lower wire, um, is because of the height, obviously. Um, so it's a slightly different mental and physical training. So, so how are you with heights, Tom? <laughs> I, I'm fine with heights. Falling? Falling, not so much. Well, um, it's, it's, it's not the falling, it's not even the falling, it's more of the landing um, that yeah, can be dangerous. Yeah, yeah you're fine. fine. But, the, first, the first 20 metres will be great, the next... Exactly, just, 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 just enjoy. Yeah. Well, well, the plan is not to drop you on the ground. Yes. Um, that's, that's my job. Um, yep. so, so don't worry, you're in safe hands. Um, but there is definitely a lot about the, the mental process of preparing yourself. Um, so that's what I want to do with you, is to get you feeling really calm and really grounded having a healthy respect for heights and an awareness that you don't want your body to fall off and hit the ground. For me, that's sane. That's, that's <laughs> not being wimpy or foolish. That's actually really sensible and really sane. Um, and, and that's why the technique, the training, and, and the safety harness in this case are, are really essential. Um, to, to, you know, we're, not, we're not as crazy as we look. <laughs> I don't know what to expect here. I don't know the, the height of what we're... Oh, that is... That is <laughs> That's the height, basically. I saw um, Penn and Teller once. Oh, yeah. And they were doing a... a something that stuck in my head. Yeah. Was the phrase, the, the trick is the same, whether the rope is one foot off the ground, yep. or... Gonna guess about 30 feet off the ground? Yeah, it's actually a little bit less. So it's already less than, uh, okay. than you're worried about. Okay. It's eight metres. Eight metres, okay. Um, it's... Serious injury territory if you come off, though, isn't it? That's, uh... Uh, well, it won't be for you. No, it, obviously it'll be not. On. It, not but... it would be for me because yeah. I work with that safety harness. But um, yeah, it's really not about the F word. And in fact, your training starts yes. there. Okay. Don't mention the F word. Okay. Um, it's it's really not about that. What we always have to do is step onto the wire mm -hmm. and be present on the wire uh, with the confidence that we are in control and we choose when we're going to get off the wire. So really visualizing that, really establishing that in your mind's eye, that's where it starts, is believing that you can do it. Normally at this point, I would have kind of some sarcastic or self deprecating <laughs> but, I, but I'm, no, I'm going to buy into this because I'm going to be up there soon. Cool. I'm, absolutely. I'm not going to mention the F word. <laughs> I'm going to walk across there. Great, 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 great. Well, that's, that's the place to start from. And yeah, I believe you can do it. So, you know, that's at least one of us. <laughs> How do you do that? How on earth do you balance like that? So we're not going to start you up there. We're going to start you on something much safer and lower, just uh, down here. Uh, so if you want to, if you want to come this way, I'm just going right. to put the final tension on to make okay. sure that it's about right. And just do that on this little device. That should be good like that. So oh. here's your <laughs> balance pole. That's uh, that's good. That's got that's got. It's wide. There's a lot of balance available here, is what I'm thinking. It's very long. It is actually a shorter one. Come and have a feel of the pole on the ground. Okay. Uh, and then I shall talk through some of the technique before we get you onto the wire. Okay. It's, it's heavier than I thought it was going to be. 
Yeah, that's what people always say. Um, this one is about eight to 10 kilos. All right. So how you hold it, if you bring your hands a little bit wider, bring the flat of your palm so your fingers are not even gripped around it, that's it. That's better. And then bring it up so that the middle of it is, yeah, around your belly. Good. Now pull your elbows in towards your body and dropping your shoulders down the back. Okay, now that is much better. A little bit wider okay. the hands, a little bit wider. Okay, cool. So what I want is that your fingers don't have to hold on. It feels more like I've got a thing just resting in each palm. Yeah, to start with, yes. If you need to wrap the fingers around, you can. Put it down if you need to rest your <laughs> arms, by the way. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll save the... Uh, <laughs> Save the yeah. muscles there. And, for like, and again, just pat yeah. the arms out, There's massage out, because you'll be getting yeah. a lot of tension. It's heavier than this. I thought it was going to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so let me show you. Right. I'll show you, first of all, without the pole. Okay. Um, and if you want to just watch, and you can almost imagine yourself, if you like, you can imagine yourself being me, um, <laughs> uh, and just be aware that when the feet uh, get on, the, the correct foot position is for the big toe to be over the wire, and then through the middle of the heel at the back. Yep. Um, and uh, when you stand up onto the wire, you'll have the pole, but I'm just gonna balance with my hands. And then my teacher in Cuba used to say like this, it goes, dedo, glisso, talón, paso. Dedo, glisso, talón, paso. So that's touch, toe, forward, slide, heel, step. That's right. Toe, slide, heel, step. Yeah. So what we're doing with the eyes, we're looking at a fixed point and the best fixed point to look at is the point at the end of the wire because that's where we want to arrive. Let's start with the feet. Yep. And I can help you with the, with okay. the pole. All right. So, so if you hold that and if you remember, yep. Yep. The center. Open palm. Open palm. On the belly the just belly. there. Yeah, I'm going to support this so we don't have to worry too much about balancing to okay. start with because we want to get those feet good. If you need to fall off, yep. I'll just show you this if you stand there for a second. <laughs> there are two ways to leave the wire. If you really have to leave the wire, yep. one way, which is not advisable, is like that. Yes, I have okay. made that mistake once in my life on a slack line in a park and it hurt. Yes. Yep. <laughs> you only need to do that one yep. to realise that that's the way not mm -hmm. to do it. Um, so being really aware that if you do need to leave the wire, then to go one side yep. or the other, magic. When you're ready, come up with the other foot. Stand up tall and straight. Bring the pole up to your belly. Good. Keep looking at the end of the wire. Both feet on the wire. Oh, I'm, that's got to wobble on. Yeah, I'm going to wobble on. No, nope. back down. OK, <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> wow, that's, that, that moves... Uh... That moves a lot, okay. If I'm you're really wobbly, wobbly the wire yep. will wobble. So if you can use your breath to calm your body, that's it, super cool, super cool. Toe on the wire. Toe on the wire when you're ready. Toe on the wire. Hello. And up. up. Great. And other foot on the wire, good. Okay, breathe. <laughs> Pull the pole to your belly. Yeah, pole up a bit, elbows into the body. Cool, and when you're ready, step forwards. And try to slide. Way. Okay, you got it. You got it. Stand up straight. Stand strong. Hang on. Oh, no, I'm okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you need to lean onto the pole. Yep. So this is this is the the next step. Okay. We're going to try a bit of this now. So when you get up onto the wire with the pole, and if you feel like you need to um, fall off, you just rest oh, the pole down. Oh, I can just down. rest the pole down. Yep. Okay. And just rest the okay. pod. I mean, so I can't do that up there. <laughs> you, no, no, but then you're getting more comfortable with where your feet are on the yep. wire. Remember, toe, yep. slide, pull the pole into the belly. Good. Toe, Ooh. okay. Keep breathing. Yeah, no, Keep breathing. Uh, you got it. Cool. Toe. <laughs> Good. So make sure your foot is really on the wire. Really touch, yep. gently test that the wire yep. is there before you commit to the footstep. Yeah. Okay. I'm when trying to work ready. out where the vibration's coming from. Um, it's just from your body. So relax your body. Use the out breath to relax. Okay, okay. Mm. Check where is the wire in front of you. <laughs> the wire's moving too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can't check the wire the wire is yeah, take because it. the answer is it's doing that. The way that you're lightly touching with the front foot as you slide. So that's dampening. It's like dampening a guitar string. You know, if you touch onto it lightly, 
you'll stop it vibrating. Wow. Really stay focused right till the very last. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, well Thank done. Thank you for the assist on that. <laughs> I guess we just do that a lot of times now. Okay. Lost it. Lost it, lost it, lost cool. it. Halfway. I need to put the pole down. I need to okay. physically put the okay. pole down. Yep. Oh! I'm keeping my feet in a claw position. It's painful. I need to let that relax. Yep. Step by step. Oh. OK, cool. I can never hit you with the pole Don't there. Don't I've, <laughs> I've, I've had poles in the face before now. I'm uh, comes oh. with the territory. Well done, man. That was really good. That well, was I touched down a few times over there, but the problem's in the soles. That hurts now. Yeah. They're just not used to having a, a thin metal wire cutting into them. And yeah, that's, I can only, that's only imagine. That's painful. He's putting all the pressure on the same bit every step. Four. Ah! Oh, okay. No. Okay. Ah! This is that pressure over and over and over and over and over. I might propose that we have a look at getting you high um, and see how we go from there. You're at a place where you're making, you're picking up the pole on your own, you're balancing it all the way across to the middle. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's, you're being restricted by the pain in your feet. It's a process. Yeah, surrender to the process. Okay. See what it's like from the top then? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Great. That's Lovely. really cool. And yeah, step into that space and you'll see that it's, there's not a lot to stand on. There's not, but it's, if this was wobbling, I'd have a problem. Mm -hmm. If I didn't have the wire on, I'd have a problem. Yeah. I'm okay with this. Cool. This, is, this is fine. Cool, cool. That, on the other hand, <laughs> that's well, a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Before you look out there too much, take a look around <laughs> and get a view of Somerset Aye. that most people don't ever get to see. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. just go out a little bit more here. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, the height is not bothering me. Cool. That's yep. fine. Great. This wire bounces up and down more than that one does. Yeah, it's a little bit longer wire, so there is more elasticity yeah. in it. This is good. If I can do, if I can cross that wire, I think I can cross this wire. I'm I just can't sure cross that wire can. right now. For my own peace of mind, when I'm up here, could I try descending on this cable? I'm happy with that. All right. So all I need to do is, put, yeah. The problem is just putting my faith in this. Yeah. Sitting down. Oh, that's the. Uh, all right. You, you got me. <laughs> And then just trust there's some, there's some elasticity here. He's got me. He's, he does indeed. Yeah, you got me. Thank you very much. This is, uh, this is undignified. I, still, I think it looks better with flailing, Tom. It does. It Re really does. Move the feet and arms. Yeah, just, just sitting there like a sack of wet potatoes didn't help. <laughs> Thank you very much, Josh. All right. OK, super. Oh. Ah, no, 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 no. Ow, okay, ow, ow, okay, ow, ow, okay. ow, 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 no. Oh. Foot pain? Foot pain. Work on those footsteps. Mm, no, that's good. Okay, down. okay, okay. Stay <laughs> present, stay present. Stand tall, mm. straight, easy. Two more steps. Clear steps. Oh. Okay, easy. Oh. Super. That's it, so really working with your relationship to your body, your feet in this moment, and keeping that pole strong, but loose. Good, feeling the pole, and sliding those feet. Keeping forwards, keeping moving forwards. Good, you can step on the Cavaletti, no problem. Great Good, because I was going to. Cool, cool, mm, keep come going, on. keep focusing. Come on. Look at the Come end. on. Keep going forwards. Come on. Stay strong in the belly. Come on. Keep stepping step ah. by step. This is yeah. really. I want to hear it. Breathing. Ah. Keep breathing all the way through. You've got six steps to go. Keep going. Slowly, slowly at the end. Wait all the way until you're right there. And then yes! <laughs> all right, you did it. 
Cool. <laughs> have yourself a little break. I have no idea why that suddenly worked. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. That hurt like hell at the end. And I have no idea why my brain suddenly went, you've got this. You have got that it. That first two, three steps, something went click. And I guarantee you, if I do that again right now, I'll be off straight away. Don't say I, that. I, I, don't, don't even don't know. think that. Don't even think that. Something about that was just, I've got this. This is the pattern. It's locked in. I'm going to make a rubber band race car. This is a crate from KiwiCo who make hands-on, fun, educational projects for kids of all ages. So if you've got kids and you'd like to keep them occupied and interested without just shoving an iPad in front of them, this may be for you. They've sent me this, which is a tinker crate for ages nine and up. And as there aren't any kids around here, I'm going to make it myself. Every month, KiwiCo will send out a new crate with hands-on projects about science, engineering, art, geography, or cooking, or whatever your kids' particular interests are. Oh, that's clever. OK. There are nine different types of crate, like the koala crate for preschoolers, or the doodle crate for kids 9 to 13 with an interest in art and design, or the maker crate for 14 and up. Yours may not look as even. That's OK. <laughs> All right. All the crates have been put together by expert designers and engineers and tested by kids. And all the instructions, tools and materials you need are included. They really did think of everything here. That's really nice. You can go to kiwico.com slash tomscott or click the link in the description to get 50% off your first month of any crate. <laughs> I would have genuinely enjoyed that as a kid. <laughs> genuinely enjoyed that now. So how are you feeling after yesterday? Do you feel like you're, you're, you're ready for today? My, my thighs hurt, weirdly, out of all the bits. My, my feet were fine this morning. Like, I, Great. I rolled That's them out. I, I tried to, to be as kind to them. They're, they're doing OK. Yeah. Thighs hurt, arms hurt a bit, but I think I'll be OK. OK. I just, I just want to make sure I get over this one a few times before getting up there. First one of day two. Yeah, let's I, see I woke up you've so forgotten confident. it all or... Uh... I woke up with completely unjustified confidence. I woke up going, oh, I'm fine, it's going to be great. Um, I would know. say you earned your confidence. Yeah. I would say you worked harder than I've seen anyone who does <laughs> this work yesterday. So yeah, breathing, breathing. Yeah. We're yeah, not there yeah, yet. Yeah. Come on, Tom. Come on. Get your eye in. You had this yesterday. Cool, let it touch. It's great. Keep the body straight as you do so. Let the arms bend down, but keep the body straight. Easy, easy. Great. That was the best one I've seen you do. I would normally be trying to almost distract myself, try and let my unconscious, subconscious, whatever it is, do the balancing for me. Yeah. But I have to keep my head in the game, focusing on what I'm doing. As soon really as I start present. talking, as soon as I start focusing on what's going on outside, well, I won't use the word, but yeah. I see it as a forced meditation. Yeah. How much of that foot pain yesterday was me being scared? I don't know. Oh, 100%. I, I'm not saying 100%. <laughs> that, that was... That, that. I think a better question is, how much are we capable of if we let go of all the fear? Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's cool. do it again. <laughs> Enforced meditation is absolutely the right term. <laughs> Any time I feel my brain going, nope, not thinking about that. Right. Every time I, my brain, I have to bring it back, refocus on that. It's definitely true. All you've got to do is what you do here. Up there. there. Great. Well, it. have a rest. Give yep. yourself a, you know, a bit of a sit down, rest <laughs> yeah. your feet. We'll get the pole up and we'll get the, um, the harness ready for you. All right. Amazing. Well done, Tom. Let's do it. Thank Yay. you. <laughs> Thank you. I can tell you that that first step is the most difficult one that you'll ever make in your rope walking career. Um, and that's not saying to rush it to quickly get to no, the second no, one, but... but to commit. When you take up the pole, make a decision that you want to go forwards, yeah. take up the pole, and then embark on a crossing. Yeah. All okay. I need to do is get that pole from there to there. Exactly. All exactly. right, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. There is a lot more wind up here today. So 
exactly the same trick whether the tightrope is half a meter off the ground or eight meters off the ground it's exactly the same thing Exactly the same thing. Pole up. Keep breathing, stay strong. Lift the chest up, stay nice and tall. Golden thread from the center of the head. No. Stay up. I got you. I got you. Don't you worry. Stay holding the pole. Josh, can you grab the pole? Nice one. Okay, coming in the last bit. Thanks, Josh. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. <sighs> Strong, stand up tall, stand up straight. Strong and tall, Tom. Keep breathing. Slowly, walking forwards. Keep with your balance. Keep breathing. Check those footsteps. One by one, keep breathing with your breath. I want to hear you breathe. Keep going slowly. Take your time. Take it one step at a time. You're all right? Straighten up. Okay, easy, step by step. Take your time. Two feet on the wire, please. Work it, fight for it, good. Keep breathing, keep present. Keep going little by little. Slow it down, take your time. You have all the time in the world, all the space in the world. This is your space. Take control of the pole. Fight for it, Tom. Easy, slow down. Breathing, breathing all the way. Five steps, slow it down. And yes! <laughs> yes! Thank you, Chris. All right, thank you, Tom. Well done, man. Super cool, super cool. It's the same trick. <laughs> I can happily just stand on this wire with hands on here. But you're right. I would have touched the ground there. I'd have considered that a failure. At one point it felt like the pole was way off down to the side. I might throw up in a minute. Have you ever okay. seen anyone vomit from eight, eight meter wide? Take, take your time, take your time to breathe, take your time to feel grounded, to arrive into that place of safety. Great. Yeah. Amazing. All right. Beautiful. On your feet, right, Walker? Hey! <laughs> Welcome to my beautiful world. <laughs> well Thank done, you so Tom. much. Well done, man. That's really Oh, beautiful. that was sketchy at the end. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much you, you know that's there, you still feel like you're going to fall. It's incredible. Don't use the F word. <laughs> <laughs>